so this is the fabric i'll be using for this project this fabric is three yards by 60 inches let me show you guys so this side of the fabric is 60 inches all right so from here to here is 60 inches remember this side is the 60 inches and then this side is the three yards if you're making a longer caftan you would need three and a half inches but this is going to be a short caftan so i'm going to use three inches for it so to begin i'm going to fold my fabric this way so this has been folded into two equal parts I'm going to go ahead and fold this into two. Remember the first time we folded this way? So now we are going to fold this way. So this is what you should have. All right guys, you know our fabric is big, so I want to use this small paper to illustrate what we just did so that you guys will have a better understanding of what I did. This shorter side is a 60 inches and then this longer side is a three inches. So the first thing you would need to do is to fold this this way into two equal parts. Then this 60 inches line, you fold it into two again. So that's exactly what we did here. So the full length of this gown is going to be 44.5 inches. So at 44.5 is going to be here. I'm going to add an extra 1.5 inch allowance to that. This is going to take care of the seam and everything, the folding. So I'm just going to draw a straight line. The fabric I'm using is a chiffon fabric. This is exactly what my client brought for me to use to make her dress, all right? So her shoulder is 16 inches. I'm going to divide that by two, which will give me eight inches. So I'm going to mark eight inches right here. So the neck width I'll be using for this project is 3.5. I'm going to make the depth 5 inches. So I'm going to use my armhole curve to make a to make my connection. So this is our front neck depth. For our back neck depth, I'm going to make it 2 inches. So from the shoulder point, I'm going to measure the sleeve length, which is 20. Actually, the sleeve length is 22, but I'm going to add the wristband. So my wristband is going to be 2 inches. So when you add that to 20, you're going to have 22. All right, guys. So I, I want to use this to show you guys because when i was making my video i realized that i missed some parts so i want to use this part to show you guys what i did in that video before we go back to that all right so um like i showed you guys before in the previous video here is the back neck and then this one is the front neck line all right so from this point to this point is neck width then from this point to this point is the shoulder. The shoulder is 16 inches. I divided that by two and I got eight inches. The sleeve length for this gown, I'm going to start from here. So um, the, sh the sleeve length is 22, but I'm going to mark 20. This is going to have a, a wristband. So I'm going to mark 20. And I'll add half inch, which is going to be for, let me push it a little, which is going to be for the seam, all right? 
so this is 20 and half so this one is totally optional I'm going to come down here by one inch I want to slant it around the shoulder this is totally optional so like I told you before this particular step is totally optional you can decide to slant it you can decide not to slant it all right so for, for at this point what I'm going to do I'm going to mark the sleeve opening the sleeve opening is going to be six inches all right so that was all that i missed in the other video i'm going to go back there and you know, continue from there i had to show this part because this part was actually not showing in the other video all right guys so let's go back the hip measurement is 49 49 by 4 is going to give us 12.25 so i'm going to add 5 inches to that 12.25 inches right marked before this five inches is going to include the same allowance and then the allowance for the ease i need the dress to be a little bit free this is a free gown so that's why i added that um, amount of ease so this is not actually a long gown this is a short gown okay so i'm going to try and get the hip length and to get that i'm going to first of all get my um half length which is 17 and then from your half length count eight inches from your half length so one two three four five six seven eight whatever you get is your hip length all right so this is where our eight inches is going to be so i'm going to connect from this point to this point here so let me just increase this to 28 so it's like i added more three inches to that eight inches now if you're making a very long gown you're going to get your knee length like from your shoulder to your knee but this is not a long gown this is actually going to be at the knee area so i'm going to connect from the sleeve to the hip all right the hip area that point where i came down by 28 please when connecting don't make it straight like try to curve it a little bit so i'm going to extend the hip measurement 17.2 to the hem So I'm going to pin this down and start cutting the necessary parts. So I'm going to cut the back neck first before I go over to the front. The front will be cut when I separate the front bodies from the back bodies. So I'm going to cut the shoulder slant. Then I'll cut the sleeve all the way to the hip area, then to the hem. So this is what our pattern is looking like. So I'm going to separate the front from the back so that I can cut the front neckline. So I've separated the front from the back, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the front neckline right now. So guys, at this point, I'm going to join the front to the back. I'm going to open um, my fabric this way and then place the right side of the front bodies to against the right side of the back bodies then I'll go over to my machine and join so the areas I'll be joining will be the shoulder slant so you remember we have a sleeve opening so from this point I'm going to all the way to the hip area then to the hem 
so i'm going to repeat the same steps on this other side of my caftan i'm going to join the shoulder leave an opening then join from the sleeve down to the hemline so this dress is going to have a sleeve band so to cut the sleeve band i already folded my fabric into two so the sleeve round of my client is 9.5 so I'm going to measure 9.5. This is my 9.5 mark. I'm going to add an additional 1 inch. This is going to be for the seam. So I'm going to mark 10.5 in total. I want the band height to be 2 inches so I'm going to add half inch to that which is going to be 2.5 the half inch is going to be for the seam So I'm gently going to connect the points that I marked with a straight ruler and once I'm done with that I'll take my scissors and cut up my pattern. So now that we have this I'm going to cut out another piece because one is going to be for the left hand and then one is going to be for the right hand. So guys, this is what we have. I've joined the two sides. So guys, this is our sleeve opening. Remember, it's going to have an opening, so don't join everything together. So the next step would be to go and pipe my neck. I'm going to pipe my neck. I have an entire video dedicated to neck piping. I'm going to leave that in the description box below. I'm also going to leave that up here so you can click on this card and watch that video. It is very detailed. So to cut the piece that I'm going to use to pipe my neck, I'm going to fold my fabric in a bias form. And this is what I mean by folding my fabric in a bias form. So you're going to kind of fold it this way before you cut. So the size of strap that I want to use for the neck piping is 1.2 so i'm going to go ahead and measure 1.2 and then cut it out so in that video i showed two ways to pipe your neckline so i'm going to leave that like i said before in the description so you can watch and learn So I'm going to go over to my machine and use this to pipe my neck and make sure you cut the one that will be long enough for your neck but if you have a short strap you can join and then you know fix it to your neckline. But before I do that I'll take this to my overlocker and overlock the entire dress. This fabric is actually a chiffon fabric and definitely it will frill if I don't overlock it. So for the sleeve band I'm going to fold it this way. and then join this on a half inch mark. I'm also going to do the same thing on the other sleeve band. So our neck has been piped, so I'm going to iron this later on. Our dress is almost ready. So I'm going to also hem my dress. Remember, I gave one inch allowance for the hem. And then going over to the sleeve, I'm going to fix my band to the sleeve. So what I'm going to do is to fix this on this side of the sleeve and I'm also going to do the same thing on the other side of the sleeve. Mm -hmm. 